Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to create the collisions and bouncings in Blender 3.6 3D animation software. Now, you can see this is just my demo I try to play. Then, this object is collide with the plane and have some bouncing at there. Alright, if I change the directions of this, try to play. Right, it is totally follow the physics. So how to do this, start from now, I'm going to show you the step by step. All right, so as there are more, I'm going to just create a fresh new Blender project and I don't save it anything here. So as there are more, I'm going to just press A and press delete to delete everything. The first step, what I'm going to do is just add a plane. And then I click and press S to make it small. Then, sorry, this is to make it bigger. Next, I'm going to just add a mesh. Let's say I add a circle. Sorry, a UV sphere. I press G and press G to make it up. Then, I, at the same time, I add a cube as well. And press G and press G to, to just make it up. And press G along the Y axis. So next, we are going to create a physics. Now, you can see, this is the plane. You need to create a physics for this. Just go to the physics. Then, make it a rigid body. The type you choose, passive. And then, for this sphere, you, you change it to make it a rigid body as well. There, this one. Make it a rigid body. We try to play and see. Right now, if they can fall down, what if I change this direction? I rotate it a little bit. We are going to observe what will happen. Wow. This is sliding, and the ball is rolling. Right. So now, no bouncing. What if I, if I add a bounce here, I click and just now it is a rigid body. The sensitivity, surface suspension, the bounce, the bouncing, if I change it to become 5, what will happen? Just observe it. All right. At the same time, this, I also change the bounceness to be 5, try to play. Right, the value is too big, I change it to become 1. Right, now the, the cube, the bounceness, I change it to 1 as well. Try play. Now, this is 1. What about if I change it to become 3? You can just trial and error to see what will happen. If 3, it is too big already, then maybe 2. Play. So you can just adjust. So this sphere, I press G to move it, sorry. I press G to move it along the X axis and press S to make it small. We try this. Play. It roll like a ball. It is really physics. All right. It is really easy. Nothing to worry. Easy to set up. You can set it. You can set this type of the collisions and bouncing for any of the shapes for any of the three D models in Blender. Right. This one. Right, that's all for today about my tutorials on how to create a collision and bouncing 3D objects in Blender 3.6 3D animation software. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my videos, tutorials, and sharing, if you feel all these tutorials and sharings are very helpful to your 3D modeling, 3D animation, and 3D game developing, 
you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new videos, tutorials or sharing, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy happy 3D modeling, 3D animation and 3D game developing. See you.